Hey guys, sorry I haven't done an update on my uh, vlog. Um, I've been busy. This month will be batteries. Um, I'm still working on figuring out how to use the motor, but I'm having a battery issue that has to be addressed. Can't leave it. Only because my supply, which of these batteries here, I don't know how long they're going to last, but I like to I get these cheap. I like to use them for... Um, uh, sorry about that. Uh, so what was I saying? I was uh, anyway. I'm having issues with the batteries, which has to be addressed only because I don't know how long these are going to be cheap. They're at fifty something dollars, and I like to harvest the cells out of them, which actually work really good. If you take all four of them and run them in series, or no, in parallel, uh, for three volts a a, uh, a row. Uh, they got double the capacity of what these these large ones here have, which I'm really digging. But uh, the issue I'm having right now is obviously these are 12 years old and they're slowly dying. These two here uh, have an issue where they drop out before the rest, so they got to go. And I haven't been able to hunt it down yet, but one of these cells has an issue where it'll full it'll show full charge, but then when you put a load on it, it's basically got nothing. Um, I'll put it this way, if I, I charge it all up fully and it's all, I get the green light on both of them, I go for a ride, I don't even make it around the block, and the BMS kicks out. I've already checked all the wiring. I mean, it could be the BMS, but I've also, like I said, once I've gone for a short ride and come back, I find a couple cells that are, like, super low compared to the rest, so I'm just going to go with they're just going bad. So I have a feeling once I do these two here... Well, I'm basically going to order three more of these. I'll do a video and we'll show you how to rip them apart and rape them and uh, rewire them properly. But um, I was thinking of reusing the cases, but then when I actually lined it up like that, well, let's get set here. I would have had to stand them up like that to keep them keep the pack small. And if you get four poor Per roll, it's going to be like way too big. It's going to be like way over here. So it's going to double the size of the pack, which I don't want. I'll just basically do that where I can wire them together and shrink wrap them. We'll see. I got to get them in anyway. Uh, I was going to get the brakes, but um, I've uh, got some other bills to pay, so you don't have to wait. But uh, my booster pack that I made last year, it's been working pretty good no issues with bad cells or anything like that it's been able to keep up with this one in long rides but, uh, these ones here gotta go like seriously they're 12 years old they gotta go um, some people are gonna probably say well you just go out and buy a battery yeah well it's not that easy for one most of the stuff on the on the market is crap okay uh, if someone wants to send me a, an e bike 48 volt e bike battery anything 20 or over amp hours I'll do a review on it for them, for free. But, uh, you know, I get to keep the battery, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm not going to buy anything on the market. I don't trust it. I trust my own batteries. These ones have been working for up to over 12 years. And I've had no issues whatsoever with them. So, I do my own shopping. Uh, these ones here, like I said, they're good for uh, harvesting cells. These cells are legitimately good. And these ones can take a lot of amps uh, when they're in parallel. But anyway, I'll get into more details on that when the uh, when the stuff comes in. I just fi figured I'd give you an update. I said nothing is happening with the um, the DC motor build here. I haven't even. I'm still trying to consider what type of gearing I'm going to put on it. Um, like I want to go with a 33 chain, but getting this 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 type of uh, gear to fit on here it hasn't been easy um, I was thinking maybe go with the uh, what is it, the F92 or T or whatever it is chain off of this gear that comes with it and then to another smaller gear which I have in here I'll show you and I'll make like a plate a motor plate to put this smaller gear ratio on um, Let's see here. So when we're done, it should be using this one here, obviously. Um, 
I got the smaller one here with the freewheel on it. Let's probably use that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll figure it out. But uh, in the end, I'll probably end up doing some kind of ratio to step it down or step it up. And then going to the rear wheel. Versus just going to the rear wheel. But uh, work, I got all winter to work on that, so I'm not really worried about it. All I'm worried about right now is batteries and brakes. It's the thing to keep the bike going. But uh, when the batteries come in, we'll uh, pull them apart and uh, see if we can't decipher what's wrong with this. I'm hoping it's not the BMS. It's super expensive. And it could be. Um, we'll see. Later, guys.